Hi, Matt with CustomCarGrills.com here. I want to start by showing the anatomy of the factory grill so you can see how the different layers interact with each other. After the factory grill has been removed from the truck, the first step is to remove the inner bezel. This can be started by removing screws which reside in the inner perimeter. Not all of the screws on the back of the grill need to be removed, just the innermost ones. There are eight in total. There are three different types of tabs on the back of the factory grill. To remove the bezel, the tabs in the lower ridges in the inner area are the ones to use. There are eight tabs in total that need to be released, six on the bottom and two up top. Once the screws and tabs are dealt with, the bezel will be easily removable. With it out of the picture, the tabs and screw holes are now easily visible. Now the tabs in the upper part of the ridge in the inner area need to be released. This will allow for the removal of the core of the grill and complete the removal necessary for this modification. Focusing back on the bezel, it's time to put our pre-cut and pre-bent mesh piece in place. We've made the cutouts around the tabs and screw mounts, as well as tried our best to match the curve the best we can. To temporarily hold the mesh in place, I'm using some soft foam and some cable ties. The foam is placed on the front of the bezel to protect the finish, and the tie will wrap around the frame and through the mesh. I've got all the ties in place, but if I see any weird spacing, I'll add more foam and ties to close up the gap. If the bend is off, this is the time to correct it. To bond the mesh and frame together, I'm using automotive goop. This adhesive usually provides good adhesion between mixed materials like this. It's usually tough enough to withstand the elements, yet semi-flexible. There should be some caution used to ensure the goop is not spilled through the front, nor too close to the outer edge. The sides I'm choosing to apply the adhesive with a toothpick so I can have more control and accuracy over it. Since the sides are at an angle, it's important not to have the goop run down into unwanted areas. A second coat of all of it may be required depending on the results of the first application. Once fully cured, remove the ties and foam from the bezel. Cure time of the goop can be up to 24 hours. Now it's time to inspect my work. The gaps look tight, the mesh is symmetrical, and the area with the bend looks proper. Overall, I think it's ready for reinstallation. The newly meshed bezel should slide back into the factory grill with ease. Once it's lined up, simply push it back into place. Then reinstall the eight screws that were previously removed. That completes the modification, and the whole grill is ready to be reinstalled back on the truck. In comparison to previous generations of this vehicle, this version of our mesh piece is the easiest to install and provides the biggest change from the OEM look. Some small portions of the components behind the mesh will be visible, but as a whole, I feel the new mesh look has a better visual appeal than the factory design. I hope you liked our video. If you have any questions about this or any other videos, feel free to contact me.